Katloff broke every rule we have. He did these things believing there was a failsafe. A simple button to shut it all down. The shutdown system had a fatal flaw. It engages AZ-5. The fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not the tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. Our reactors do not have containment buildings around them. We don't use properly enriched fuel in our cores. It's cheaper. <clears throat> the first part of the rods that enter the core, and when they do, the reaction in the core, which had been rising, skyrockets. The control rods in those channels can move no further, endlessly accelerating the reaction. Reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. The control rod and fuel channel caps, which each weigh 350 kilograms, are jumping up and down. But there's nothing he can do to stop what is coming. The steam blows more fuel channels apart. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. 12345 explosion. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. No one in the room that night knew the shutdown button could act as a detonator was kept from them. Your own testimony in Vienna. It was a lie. We were following orders. KGB. Right now, there are 16 reactors, and three of them are still running at Chernobyl. You are treading on dangerous ground. I've already trod on dangerous ground. We're on dangerous ground right now because of our secrets and our lies. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. That is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. Lies.